Now I'm going to kill Um, I want to see, though. You yeah. want to save? No, no, I want to say something. What was I say? Yes. Uh, how long is this game actually? Not that long at all. Like, how many chapters are in this game? Hey. I'm gonna take this time to be right back. I gotta get a thing. So, I'll be right back, right. folks. Then I'll be here to help commentate. Unfortunately, I'm no Metal Gear expert, so, uh. Never mind. I won't be able to play the first one. Right. Whenever you engage in battle. I will designate a battle area for you. Thank you. Stay Good. In the area to avoid damage. Huh. An in universe explanation for enemy in in enclosures. Now suck the electrolytes out of them. Had your film? With this body, I could take these guys with no eyes. Intel wasn't exaggerating on the cyborg count. Well, you know how fast the tech's been spreading these last few years. That CNT muscle fiber packs the power of a jackhammer into every limb. What enterprising soldier of fortune could resist? And cyborgs are still human. Real thinking people. Way less risk of collateral damage than your typical UAV strike. And don't forget the PR angle. Nations start playing Frankenstein with their troops, and the public goes nuts. PMCs, on the other hand, are off the ethical radar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they still don't even count PMCs in official death tolls. Wow. With SOP out of the picture, I wonder how long we got into real life market. sort of thing with this stuff. In a way, cyborgs are just SOP. We can already create super soldiers at this point by injecting them with some kind of tech. Bio chemicals that make them stronger and faster. Where does Desperado find these guys? I'm not Kills them early, but you know. They're like walking vending machines. Right. Vending machines full of blood. <sighs> Jeez. Easy there, Dracula. Like I said, they're still people. People who terrorize and take innocent lives for money. They sowed their fate when they took this job. I'm just the reaper. Oh, there it is. Damn. Yep. It's a bit cold, right? Even for you. Anyway, uh, his school. Let's get to work. Time to Can he only this. see those uh, guys talking? Yeah. Okay. So it's, like a, so it's like a VR thing. It's like a little hollow screen. Oh, see. Oh, we gotta hit a couple times. Zandatsu tutorial is now playable. Yeah, come on. Cut down. Alright, my goal is I gotta go up there. Right, this is Boris. Give me your status. Looks clear. No one in sight. Good. Let's recap the route you'll take. As I said, the enemy's HQ is in the refinery along the coastline. Assaults I have been spotted there using satellite photography. Also on site, Mistral, a desperado cabin. So I go through the city, cross the bridge into the old town, then head down to the rear of the refinery. Still, I think they anticipate us. They will probably have a grand reception awaiting you at the old city. Do not let your guard yeah. down. There is some stealth in this, though. Yeah, it, it ain't Metal Gear without stealth. It's just not not as much, because it's mostly a hack and slash game. The focus is still hack and slash gameplay. Yeah. Let's see if we're going to go to the Oh. Mm -hmm. There we go. Prepare. Uh, what did that say? 
Repaired nano paste. Um, did that heal me at all? I don't know. Uh, I think I have to open this thing. Yep, yeah, jump. Damn, flips. Flipping and zipping and dipping. Alright, there's a thing here going first. Mm -hmm. Old ship. Oh uh, yeah, I think BP is like a currency. Oh, you can just contact me in town. Oh. Just looking to see if there's anything else I can get here. Gotta check my surroundings. Yep. We have this game auto saves. Yeah, I think it does. Slap down. Repair nano paste. More repair nano paste. It didn't actually heal me though. Or is it like. It's probably like a usable item. I'm not sure how to use it. Hostiles in the lower corridor, I see. Try to flank them. Or approach from behind. There's something over there. Oh. There's another one. I wonder if I could jump down and kill him. I'm gonna be able to hop down. How's it going? John! Alright. Excellent rider! Yeah, but now it's more open. And they're all over the place. I don't know if see Brian doesn't have like a I don't think he has like a crown thing. Is it? Raiden, take that main thoroughfare. You can use augment mode to see where the enemy is located. Your body analyzes radar and I back. Welcome back. That is not good. Okay, so So, what did I miss? I think it said take this. Toggle your AR display with up on the D-pad. Alright, so yeah, we're right here. Right. It basically looks like a sort of spider sense. Just be careful. You don't think they would see me killing this guy, right? Huh? You're an RPG, so I'd rather you be dead. Stab, stab, stab! I'm pretty sure that'll work. No? Alright then. I am very surprised. You must be really stupid. Oh, did he see me? Dude sees you. Well, I'll just wait for him to, uh... Oh, he's on. He sees you! Yup, he ain't doing that. He's back. Anyways, so, as I was saying, um, uh, earlier, uh -huh. what is the rule of nature? I don't know. I don't Law know. of nature in the philosophy of science, a stated regularity in the relations or order of phenomena in the world that holds that holds under a stipulated set of conditions, either uni 
universally or in stated proportion of instances. I okay, what? Okay, um Can we hear the uh the, the, the dumbed down version? Here we go. The lyrics describe a metaphor of for survival of the fittest in the animal kingdom. So there's your answer. There you go. I am so sorry for that weird science mumbo jumbo. Okay, it looks like my alert went down, so that's good. And enjoyed it. Is there any other yeah. around the left? No. Alright. So I'm gonna try and get them from the side. Ah, uh, the bastard. That John Tronco. Oh, bastard. What's that? Ooh, a grenade. Oh, that to put it simply, once again, the rule of nature is survival yeah. for this. Yeah. Alright. There's no enemies here, but. They should know. There's some over there. The problem is, I gotta figure out how I can sneak over there without them seeing me. I mean. You don't have to play it stealth, like. I know, but they have rocket launchers, so. I get ya. True. They're gonna see me well, as I go Well, do you have a box? You have a what? Do you have a box? box? The box? No, the box is over there. That's where those two guys are. Just gonna stroll over there. Let's see. Can't see, just... can't see you from that angle. Oh shit, I forgot about these. Yep. Though. It's a cutscene. What are these things called again? Trying to fight this mooing hunk of junk. Yeah. It's another Metal Gear. Uh, these things. <laughs> you are not gonna believe me when I tell you this. Geckos, the gecko, yeah, they're called geckos. I'm gonna die here. These stupid things in there. The geckos are are the are the real pain in the ass. Yeah. Ryan! And there's so much like I've seen a lot of people like draw the the Metal Gear uh, Ray and um, the Gecko is as being real thing. It's weird because it's like it keeps the top body of it, but the, everything else. Like, think of, like, the truck nuts sort of thing. Yeah. Alright. Easiest way to get to kill these. Yeah, this even when hunting nuts and bolts is gonna frickin' destroy your face if you're not careful. So... What's it doing? I'll just try again. I think... I probably haven't mentioned this, but I should probably say this 
right now. Um, if there was a, if I made a top ten video game soundtracks, this would definitely be one of the top five because I fucking love this game soundtrack. Also, Grant, you can do the thing. What's oh okay. When I think when it's glowing blue, that means blade mode. It. Okay, I wasn't sure. Have you tried? Have you done the thing where you collect the the spines? Um, I think that's. No, he hasn't. Isn't that the sneak thing? I'll take that as a no. I don't know what that. How you do that. Brad, you're gonna need to know how to do that because that's the only way. You, that's another way you can get health back. How do you do that? You have to keep when they're. I think you have to parry their attacks, and then they'll tell you to go blade mode, and then you'll slash them up. But like, you'll see like a red square. You slash that, and then you'll get like a, a quick time. You, you, you'll get like a button prompt to press it, and then press the button, and then bam, you get the the, the, the electrolytes. So basically, yeah, it encourages use of blade mode. Oh, there's two of them. Oh! Can't sneak the those things. Oh. Oh, if only you had a box. Okay, I just need to know where it's going. I think it's going back on that bridge. It is. I can sneak behind it and kill the rocket launcher. Grant's playing the sneaky game. That part is Ryan doesn't have any stealth options besides just casually walking. I wonder if you can do a stealth kill and then. Launcher! Yeah, against this guy. Let's have to get closer. Play mode! Play mode! Uh, right there! Yeah. And then press that button, press that button, press the button! And there you go! Health! Sweet electrolytes. Oh. I couldn't alert you by that. Yep, yeah, by these bitches. Alright, so I'm gonna just, uh... Yeah, whenever you see a blue glow on an enemy, that means blade mode them. Oh man. Uh, just... Where are we going to... What are you out... doing? I'm trying to run the projectiles <laughs> first. My I'm goodness. Gonna... I just want to kill those small enemies first. Because they're more easier to kill. You're trying to outrun a gecko. That is unwise. All because he wants to kill the small guys. Okay, that one's dead. Well, you got rid of the, got rid of the guy with the rocket launcher. Yeah. I'm just trying to... There's one more guy in okay. Get him out of the room. Wait, I don't even have to do that, do I? Oh yeah, I do this the battle simulation. Oh, he's dead. Alright. Now get rid of the geckos. Wait a minute. Wait. Hold LB. LB. What's LB? L.
Oh, oh, do it. Go, 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 go it. And then blade mode, blade mode. There we go. That takes care of one. That heals you. I wonder if I can. I think I only have one rocket launcher, so. Yeah, you only have one. Oh. Maybe some spin kicks. Oh. Got to charge. Oh. I don't think I was going to be able to have a rock map. Oh, I missed it. I didn't hit the B button. So I'm gonna do it again. Oh! Blade mode! Oh, uh, I'm in the wrong... I'm in the wrong angle. There! Red square, red square! I don't see it. Oh. Oh, well, instead anyways. I didn't see it. I think it was square. because he didn't blew the body. Yeah, I think I only did the legs. What's this? Our mission. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't think I could cut those. What do I mean, so? Cool. Means. And here we go. Alright, Grant, let's see how you do in this. Um, now this is completely new. I know nothing about it. I... this is the farthest I've ever seen the game play. What the fuck? Frickin' chainsaw. He's a metal gear. Metal gear, isn't he? Oh, that's not a Metal Gear. Oh, is it? That's just, that's just a rule book. Oh, it's a cat. Like, yeah. Oh, it's a dog. You are. Oh. I am IF Prototype LQ84I. I am Prototype. Interface Prototype. All autonomous UGs feature high-level onboard artificial intelligence. An additional prototype interface enables verbal communication. I possess an intelligence far beyond human reckoning. You don't say. Okay then, what's the meaning of life? Why are we here? <laughs> I am here to kill you. Yeah, those are some nice heels, man. That's it? It's a thousand blade three challenge. Hot blade challenge. I may analyze orders, but I may not disobey them. Should I disobey the order, order, my memory would be wiped. I must destroy you. What like good is an intellect if you can't use it? Your content is pointless. It's I didn't know this was Dr. Time to fight the doggo. Alright, have fun! Oh yeah. That's a wedding blade wolf. But well I'm gonna end that for here because it's been almost forty minutes. Okay, well. <laughs>